welcome to a new episode. Uh, this one's going to be my first episode where I show how I test materials. Uh, because in uh, my country the material that I need doesn't exist. And even we don't have the similar material. I found something that I need but the price was like... <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to test out the uh, this uh, Clito product and it's not going to be used as it intended so stay tuned and have fun uh, I'll take some clothes we all need clothes for stuff that we don't know what we're doing uh, what's the point? Uh, the point is that my summer is in the meat so, uh, sol solstice, so I need to start thinking about the winter. And I can't finish uh, as the prices and everything is going up like uh, through the roof at the moment in the construction industry in my country then I need to think how I'm going to protect the foam uh, from the sun and the elements and everything else uh, as I can't uh, manage to do the second roof uh, this year. <coughs> Let's say uh, this is the bottom roof part so I'm going to lay down uh, styrofoam uh, uh, boards on the roof and there will be caps even if I uh, foam them uh, truly and truly, I still cut them. There will be some caps where uh, water may uh, get through. And there are materials that can uh, join them and make them water tight. But uh, in my country, they don't exist. Uh, I can order them from Germany, USA, and Australia also maybe. But, come on, too high priced. So, my idea was to use, this is a product from Clito, and uh, this is meant for inside jobs. Uh, this is a fiber uh, reinforced uh, rubbery uh, coating. It's used on the walls and it will give you the water tightness uh, for the bathrooms and my idea was if I lay down the board I will uh, use this product to put down on the seams and afterwards to protect uh, from UV I will use uh, bitumen and adhesive that is water based. Uh, they have a product for outdoor use but it's uh, rigid so I can't use it. I need something that is elastic because the material will move in different ways, so yeah. Now, uh, uh, you may think, why the hell do you need to test it? Just put it down and have fun. But uh, I have seen uh, sometimes when I just go into the job, uh, it melts down or some kind of uh, reaction takes place and I don't want to mess up my roof <laughs> it's too much work for just <laughs> this so first we are going to lay down some tape because I have some parts that are taped so I want to see what happens when uh, tape parts are uh, introduced to this. I don't want to mess that up the... Let's leave a cap. A cap is needed. Why? Because in reality nothing is perfect. So th this is just for... So I can... Lay down as much as I want. So now tape here. Let's put tape here and let's put a little bit here now this is one tape I use 
This is the second tape. Tomorrow when the material is cured, I want, I'm going to rip it apart and see how it holds up. many of you even do this kind of tests even uh, choosing the right foam for my walls I brought uh, almost every product uh, we have on the market yesterday uh, it's over a year's period to see how it holds up for <coughs> constant rain and everything else This is a fact of patch show. It's not n quite new, but for a testing purpose, it's perfect. It's thick, that I like. It fills caps uh, nicely, but I can already see that. Picker joints are a problem, but not that. Yeah, I don't have that big caps, but I want to see what happens. So, this bag, uh, one uh, pocket of this costs around 80 bucks here, so <laughs> yeah. Not the cheapest one, but what what are you good? What are you going to do? So this is my idea. What I'm going to do on the roof to join up every part. Let's do some hole fillings also. So let's fill some old holes. Just want to test how it works. Now this will be coated only one side. And uh, this will be coated all over. This will be coated all the way. And uh, this is, will, will be coated only halfway. Now, let's put some here also. So I can test it out. Originally, it may, uh, you need to use some kind of tape on top of this, so it will give you the needed strength. But I don't have anything, any glove available at the moment. Yeah, if this holds up, uh, it will help. Uh, will help. Will help me later on. So. Uh, what you gonna do with this paint brush? Hmm. Trash can? No, no, tr not trash can. I'm going to glue this down here between two joints just to see how it glues it in. Yeah, this will be glued here. So, just for fun. Ha! Yeah, this is my test. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to rip it off, and bend it and stretch it, and we will see what happens. For you, <laughs> in a couple of seconds, for me, tomorrow. That's it. So it's been a couple of days or more. Uh, this part that I cut out that I didn't show you, 
uh, has been uh, uh, frozen in the uh, uh, fridge for uh, m minus uh, 30 degrees and heated up in the sun, frozen heated, have frozen heated for a couple of days. So let's see how this helps up. Yeah, it sticks nicely. Okay, no problem with this. Hells up nicely. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. So it works. Uh, that's the whole point. So I'm going to go to this uh, hardware store and buy some uh, tape because uh, as you see here that the joints need to be taped because uh, it gives a better performance. So yeah, it works. Nice. It's so hot outside it's uh, killing me and the mosquitoes oh my god they are everywhere so thank you and uh, till next time oh uh, not till next time uh, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with this uh, also in this video so see you in a bit